Hi, I'm Rock Reynolds coming to you folks out there in YouTube land. It's March 8th, 2017 on a beautiful day here in Strongsville, Ohio. Folks, we can help Trump versus the deep state. Has everyone forgotten 9-11 and JFK? This video is a recommendation on how we can help Trump counterattack the deep state. Pizzagate and pedophilia have pretty much disappeared from mainstream news. However, here's an encouraging trend. The trend has now changed into the reliability of the intelligence and media versus the credibility of the president. We all know that Pizzagate and pedophilia are real, but the evidence is all innuendo. Folks, it's time to switch to our BFGs, weapons with an enormous amount of evidence. Today on CNN, there was even an article about the deep state. And the word conspiracy didn't even occur in the article. CNN has acknowledged the existence, or at least the discussion, of a deep state. Folks, let's put Pizzagate on the back burner, switch to our BFGs, and then come back to Pizzagate after the dust is settled. We have three monumental incidents with absolute proof that the CIA, the FBI, Congress, past presidents, and especially the so-called watchdog media perpetrated vicious murderous attacks on American people and then lied about it. Those three monumental incidents are 911 Pentagon, 911 Building 7, and the JFK assassination. Government officials and the media told us that a jetliner flew into the Pentagon on 9-1-1. I'm going to show two photographs from the Pentagon on 9-1-1, and I'd like you folks to notice something. There's no jetliner there. There's no body. There's no fuselage. There's no wings. There's no engines. There's no tail. There's no bodies. The government and the media are telling us that this jetliner just poof, vanished into thin air. Do you believe that? There are plenty of videos of Building 7 collapsing on 911, so I'm not going to include that. Government officials and the media told us that somehow Al-Qaeda airjackers with bot cutters brought Building 7 down. Do you believe that? Folks, from any of the Zapruder film copies you can find on YouTube, it is extremely obvious that the Secret Service participated in the assassination and that JFK was not shot from behind by a lone assassin. By all accounts, six seconds transpired from the first shot to the last shot. Six seconds ain't enough to protect a president? After the shooting started, the driver slowed the limo down so much that an agent from behind was able to catch up to the presidential limo on foot. During these six seconds when bullets were supposedly flying, the two Secret Service agents in the front seat just sat there doing nothing except slowing down the limo. It is obvious from the Zapruder film that JFK was shot from the front. He was blown up backwards by the shot, not from behind. Folks, this setup is as obvious as can be if you just ask some simple questions. Here's some side notes on the JFK assassination, but you don't need these side notes for the arguments I just presented, so you don't have to believe these. JFK was shot in the throat by Connie with a paralyzing gun. That shooting occurred supposedly when the limo was behind the Stemmen sign, but folks, there was never any Stemmen sign. The Stemmen sign was superimposed upon the Spruder film to cover up Connolly shooting JFK in the throat. I've written on my website 
that the driver shot JFK, but it's very possible that Jackie shot JFK, and there are many YouTube videos about that. It really doesn't make any difference. They were all participants in the assassination. Everyone in the limo knew JFK was going to be assassinated, except JFK. Folks, until we see the truth revealed about 911 Pentagon, about 911 Building 7, or the JFK assassination, these atrocities are still being perpetrated by the deep state. It hasn't stopped. Require the media to report on these obvious, obvious issues. Let's pull out the BFGs, put Pizzagate on the back burner, and we'll come back to Pizzagate after we've leveled them with the BFGs. Folks, when you talk about these incidents with monumental amounts of evidence, you will be attacked. You need to dig your heels in and you need to stick to your guns. You need to say, you lying motherfuckers, there was no jet airliner at 911 Pentagon. You have to say, you lying motherfuckers, the Al Qaeda terrorists did not bring down Building 7. You have to say, you lying motherfuckers, JFK was not shot from behind by a lone assassin, and you need to stick to your guns and start mentioning them frequently, even today, especially today. Folks, if you like this video, I have a link to a couple other videos I did in the text description below. And please come visit my website, freefiddleworkshop.com, and click on the tab, New Age, Age of Equestrian. I also have a tab, Rules of the Universe, which talks about the real rules of the universe that run this planet, rules of the universe that are being hidden from us. Folks, it's been a pleasure serving your YouTube educational needs. I'm Rob Reynolds. Wrap with you later.